Hey everybody! In this video, let's see how you can customize PDF templates for all your sales and purchase transactions. To get started, log into Soho Books. Go to Settings and click PDF Templates under Customization. Here, you can customize PDF templates for all your sales and purchase transactions. For the purpose of this video, let's select Invoices. You can edit the existing templates in this page or click the plus new button to add a template from our gallery. Here, you have varieties of templates you can choose from. We will use the spreadsheet template. Hover over the template and click use this. Select the template language from the drop-down and click use this. You will be taken to the page to customize various elements in the PDF template. Alternatively, you can also go to the Invoices Details page and customize its template by clicking the top right corner of the invoice and selecting Edit Template. Editing this template will apply your changes to all the transactions that have this template associated. Go ahead and click Proceed. Under General, we have sections to customize template properties, font, and the background. In Template Properties, enter a name for your template. You can select the paper size as A5, A4 or letter based on your preference. Select either portrait or landscape as the orientation. Enter the margins in inches. The margins determine how much distance there is between the template's content and its edges. Mark this box if you want to include payment stub in your PDF. Payment stub is a detachable section that is added to an invoice to collect cash payments, especially when you send invoices via postal services. Note, this option is available only for invoices. Edit the field names for the payment stub and select its position. In the font section, select the PDF font that will be used to display content in this template. A note will appear under the selected font explaining the languages it's best suited for. Select a label color, font color, and specify the font size for the displayed invoice. In the background section, you can select the background image and select the image position from the drop-down. You can mark this box if you want to add a background color and choose the color of the template's background. After customizing the general properties of the template, you can click Refresh Preview to view how your template will look like. Next, let's move on to header and footer properties. In header, you can add a background image to fill the header section of the template. You can choose the image either from your desktop or from your gallery. Note, the size of the background image cannot exceed 1 MB. You can select the image position from the drop-down. You can mark this box if you want to add a background color and choose the color of the header's background. Click here to customize the header content of your template. You can insert placeholders by clicking here. This content can be completely customized with tables, font options, and links to suit your needs. Note, you can add up to 10,000 characters in the header content. Once done, click Preview to see how it will look like. Mark this box if you want to apply only to the first page and enter the header height for the first page in inches. You can also provide separate header content for the other pages by clicking here. In the footer, you can adjust the font size of the footer of the document. Select the text color of the footer. You can choose the image either from your desktop or from your gallery. Note, the size of the background image cannot exceed 1 MB. You can select the image position from the drop-down. You can mark this box if you want to add a background color and choose the color of the footer's background. Mark this box to include page numbers in the document. Select the page number position and the format from the drop-down. You can also click predefined formats and use the placeholders for page number. Click here to add or customize information to be displayed on the lower portion of the document. This content can be completely customized with placeholders, tables, font options, and links to suit your needs. Note, you can add up to 10,000 characters in the footer content. Next, let's move to the properties for transaction details. Here, under Organization Details, 
mark this box to show your business logo and adjust its size. The logo can be resized to fit the template by dragging the slider to the left or right. You can click the reset icon to switch to the image's default aspect ratio. Mark this box to show your organization's name in the template and select the color and the font size of your organization name. Select if you wish to show your organization's address on the template. You can change your organization's address format by clicking here. You can also add or remove placeholders to customize it further. Then, click Preview to view how it will look like in the PDF. This custom address format will be used only in this template. If you leave the custom address format empty, the common address format will be used. Mark this box to display the dispatch from address in your invoice PDF. Note that this field will be visible only if e-invoicing is enabled for your organization. You can click here to modify the dispatch from address format displayed in your transaction PDFs. Next, under Customer Details, you can change the font color and font size of your customer's name in the document. Select this option to include the billing address in the template. Click here to customize the format of the billing address. You can click Configure and insert placeholders. This custom address format will be used only in this template. If you leave the custom address format empty, the common address format will be used. Select this option to include the shipping address in the template. Click here to customize the format of the shipping address by adding the required placeholders. In the document details, enable this option to display the document's title in the template. You can edit the title, if you want. Set the font size and font color for the title. You can edit the field names, if you want. Mark the checkboxes to display or hide the listed fields. You can also edit the label names in the adjacent text boxes. Mark this box if you want to show the status stamp. By clicking here, you can add attention content to your PDF. It will be displayed above the item table. Once done, you can click Refresh Preview to view how your template will look like. In the Table tab, you can customize labels and layout of the table. Under Labels, you can enable the fields to add them to PDF templates. Note that label fields vary across templates based on document purpose. Click here to customize the item name and description format in PDFs by inserting placeholders. Under Invoices created from projects, you can apply these labels to adjust the project details in the template. Under Layout, configure and adjust the font size, background color, and font color settings of the table header, item row, and item description. Similarly, in the Total tab, under Total section, you can customize labels and layout of the total column. Under Labels, you can enable the fields to add them to PDF templates. Note that label fields vary across templates based on document purpose. Mark these boxes to show the payment details and its fields, quantity, and amount in words. Under Layout, configure and adjust the font size, background color, and font color settings of the total and balance due. In the Taxes section, mark this box if you want to show HSN SAC summary. Mark this box to display export says endorsement in your PDF. Finally, in the Other Details tab, you can customize your document summary and annexure content. Under Document Summary, you can edit the label for notes and adjust its font size. Note, you can add up to 5000 characters for notes. Enable this option to include available online payment methods in the template. You can also add your bank details by clicking here. They will be displayed below, Customer Notes. If you have configured QR code in your organization, you can select this option if you want to view the invoice by scanning the QR code. Check this option if you want to add terms and conditions to your template. Also customize the label and font size of this field. Note, you can add up to 10,000 characters for terms and conditions. Enable this option if you want to add a signature to your template. You can upload an image of your signature and add a name for it. Check the options if you want to add e-invoice details QR code, IRN, acknowledgement number, 
and acknowledgement date to add these details in the bottom section of the invoice template. Under Annexure, click Add Annexure Content to enter additional information apart from your terms and conditions. It can include bylaws, clauses, and other details pertaining to your organization. This will be included at the end of every invoice. Then, click Save. After customizing, you can associate it to the customers of your organization. That's how easy it is to customize PDF templates for all your sales and purchase transactions. Thanks for watching.